how they feel. Oh, he's gonna oh, shoot. Oh, he's gonna be. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Ice Fish with Bus, Hunter of Fish. I'm here with Gage Fannin, somewhere here in the Midwest. And we are, you can see, we are nice and cozy in here, and we got a show for you today. We're targeting bass. And musky. Now I've never done this before. As you see in my videos, I don't typically catch anything anyhow. So Gage is my guide, and Gage is catch fishing out today. Already one of our heroes. He's a police officer, puts his life on the line every day for us. So I applaud him for that. Here at Hunter Fish, we support our law enforcement. Anyhow, Gage, if you're going to predict today, what would you say? I know you've been out here practicing, or should I say scouting? Been out here scouting. Um, the past few days, I've seen six, seven musky. Um, Friday, we hooked one up. Uh, couldn't get it in. My predictions today are: uh, obviously, we see some see some musky. Hopefully, um, we get hooked up on the fish of ten thousand cast, and we're we're designated to do an eight inch hole. Um, I hope we get into the the bass. They've been a little bit a little bit tougher to predict this time of the year. Um, water's down two foot, and it's been a couple high pressure days, so it's bass fishing has been a little bit tougher um, my hope is we we make a good video catch some fish hopefully hooking a muskie so you guys can see that um, have a good time well nothing else you know he's gonna have a good time being stuck with a hunter fish so can't fish of 10,000 cash well we'll be jigging this thing at least about 20,000 times so I figured I'd make up for it enjoy the show did you call to find that out oh there's your pass here he comes here he goes oh he took you Look at that beautiful bass. Oh man, that was cool. You come and took a bite at your jigging repeller. She didn't like it. Come on over and get the one over here. Come on, buddy. Come on over. You missed it. Man, are you okay? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh shoot. He took a bite at me, I think. Oh, oh. I missed it. Anticipation. No. He come up that. He come up from that direction. Right. He's, he's, com, he's coming back. I see it. A half second late. Early. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, you got oh, he's some, something back. Oh, oh shoot! He was. That's gotta be the same fish, I think. Like he swirled around. Here he comes back. That's pretty cool though. Quick release. Oh, Here's the musk. musk. That's a musky. That's a good musky. Oh man. <laughs> he just went by. Uh. I thought he was gonna come out here and bait there for a second. Yeah, you know, he's interested or do you think he's I just... think he's interested. He spun around a good Give that stuff a second look. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Take what must man. Just takes up your whole screen. Oh man. Which that's that's one thing we noticed here a lot too, uh, when we fished here. You can't see I've got this about a foot and a half, two foot off the bottom, so you can't really see the bottom. Um we're seeing a lot of perch on the bottom. Um mm -hmm. seven, eight inch perch. And uh you know they'd come up they'd be intrigued with our our bait and then it's all, all of a sudden they they disappear and then a muskie would come in um, mm. so you kind of knew okay the perch the, the perch are kind of scattered out they're not here anymore something bigs in the area oh we got him how's it feel oh he's gonna oh, shoot oh he's gonna be able to drag that oh my god Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. That's how it's doing. That's how it's doing. Don't get on that heater, buddy. Wow, man. That is awesome. How'd you do it, man? Sitting here jigging. 
got that Rapala there. Well, that's a three and a half pounder, I'd say. Absolutely, every bit of it. You got a nice. Looks like he's been hit by a musky before when he was a little bit younger. Got a little, a little side over there, but. Gage has been talking an awful lot about color selection when he baits. Things I'd never thought of, especially with things like uh, the ice and snow. So, what we're, go ahead, we'll explain that again if you would. This is a 30 second summary of it. So what we do, uh, what, I, what I like to look for in is uh, the snow ice. Um, it's not as thick as the black ice that you get, the strong ice that you want but you want snow or a little bit of snow ice on top so that way um, you're, you're, you're more camouflaged whereas if you stick a shanty up on black solid clear ice um, you're in six, five, six, seven foot of water if you can see the fish they can see you more than likely because they're looking up most of the time looking up at your bait um, so it's just more camouflaged uh, for us give us a better better possibility of us getting bit um, them not looking up it's all black snow covers snow covers great yes sir did so we just come up tag that thing yeah he came up he came out of nowhere smoked it not the biggest one but he'll do From what are you talking about camouflaging us? You know, think about I don't think very often you're ice fishing, you got to camouflage yourself. Think about it a lot in the boat, but uh, how they can see us. And you said that that can even impact the best color for your baits, even. Yep, yep. Um, sometimes on a when you got this snow or snow covered ice uh, and it's a cloudy day, you know, the, the, the sun's not going to penetrate that, that ice as well, so you're going to want a little bit brighter bait so it'll stick out a little bit better. Um, on a bright sunshiny day even with this snow or snow covered as you can see in the camera you can still see quite a bit there's a lot of light getting through there so you're gonna want a little bit duller more natural looking uh, natural looking bait more you know whatever they're trying to feed on if it's perch you want to perch your collar bluegill get that collar when all else fails you know like I said black and silver awesome stuff. now when you when you were searching the last couple days you uh you can only spend. Well, yes. Well, you come to a spot like this, and you're in search mode. Mm -hmm. How long would you stay? I stayed here for about an hour. Anything I was looking for when searching, um, I wanted to find a good weed line. Another main thing is uh, look for flats. Uh, yeah. Right off. So you're right rolling off, around. Yep. That's usually where they, they cruise around. Uh, it varies. Um, like I said, we've caught them in three foot of water, and you know, good ones. Um, the 53 and a half inch that we caught last year that was uh that was in six foot of water so it's just it, it's it's what i look for is somewhere where they can somewhere where they can hide and uh, sneak up on prey and then you find kind of their their staging area and then hopefully that there's a flat close enough to that staging area that they can come out and cruise in well that's a wrap for ice fishing with Plus hunter of fish. Man, did we have a lot of action. We saw a bunch of bass and some musky on, on the film. Obviously, Gage caught a couple as well and learned a tremendous amount. Uh, I know you thought it was a slow bite, but overall, what, what would you say about today? It could have been better, obviously. The fish that we did catch, uh, they'd come up and slam the bait. Uh, there's no doubt about that they wanted it. Um, there was obviously some that didn't want it. Yeah. Um, that's how fishing goes. Uh, I think we we tossed down about thirty thousand jigs. Um, <laughs> yeah, wasn't enough today. Fish uh, of ten thousand casts, thirty thousand jigs today. Yeah, yeah, we we gave them heck. I mean, we we really went at them, but really got some cool footage. I appreciate Gage for taking me out here, being the first, the inaugural episode of Ice Fishing with Bus. I had a great time though, and learned a lot. Hope you enjoyed it yourself. Make sure. Sure, you hit that little subscribe, get notifications button there. That way, every time we come up with a new video, you get it. You get it right away. Next weekend, I plan to be walleye fishing as well out here in the Midwest through the ice. Till next time, we'll see you in the water.